three years ago, I was dropped off by the Peace Corps in Chenjiang, Chongqing, as the one solitary representative of U.S.-Chinese friendship. <laughs> I was the very first American to ever set foot on Chenjiang soil, also the first vegan. <laughs> in this town of 50,000 farmers, where I was sent to teach at the local college, my arrival was the hottest event in recent Chenjiang history. <laughs> As I stepped off the train, I was received by the leader of Chen Zhang's Communist Party, Gao Suji, or Leader Gao. That first day, we bonded over drinks. I quickly earned his adoration by drinking a fifth of Baijiu and puking under the table. <laughs> I didn't know that gorging on booze until you barf is actually a huge sign of respect in Chen Zhang. I just did it because I forgot the Chinese for I've had enough. <laughs> Leader Gao and I developed what I thought was just Guanxi, and he thought was adopting a new pet. Guanxi is a Chinese power structure where you do something for me and I owe you. Then I do something for you, and rather than making a square, you owe me. And this goes on forever. Leader Gao would challenge me to do ridiculous things in front of his comrades and then reward me by granting my request to benefit the school. Like one time, Leader Gao commanded me to sing Adele's Someone Like You 14 times in a row at KTV, for which he, for which he granted me my very own office. And one time, Leader Gao had me dress like Santa Claus <laughs> and dance gangam style in, in front of a thousand people for which he gifted the English department a new library. <laughs> and one time, I jumped off a boat and swam across a lake for his sleazy friends to watch. For this, I received classroom projectors. And one time, he called me at midnight to inform me I had to give a speech at a hospital grand opening the next morning. When I asked him what kind of speech, he said, a speech like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> for this speech, I secured funding for a talent show. No two challenges were ever the same. One weekend, a year after arriving in Chenjiang, Leader Gao, his nine-year-old daughter, Mei Ping, and the family pet are on our way to his family farm. Ai xiao, jin tian woman yi chi chi war, Leader Gao says to me, this literally means today we will go out to play. In reality, it means I'm gonna be taken somewhere against my will and eventually end up wasted on Baijiu making sloppy toast in Mandarin. How the? Okay, I say. After two hours, we arrive at the farm. I make a beeline to the barn to check out the livestock. Mei Ping, my handler for the day, follows me like my shadow. Mei Ping introduces me to her grandparents' prized pig. She's, she named him Didi, or little brother. She runs to the house and returns with a big bowl of chopped carrots, and we feed Didi. It's disgusting and adorable having a pig eat right out of your hand. The sound is as if a bucket of sloshing mucus could snore. <laughs> Dee Dee's slobber runs down my arm and pools inside my jacket. I shout, la la la! I'm called inside and join the family by the heat lamp. Leader Gao's ancient mother sits beside besides me and talks about me like I don't speak Chinese. Pa ham pang! She's so chubby. She, she offers me a chicken foot. A year ago, I was a vegan. But in Chenjiang, there are no vegans. In Chinese, there's not even a word for vegan. <laughs> now, I take the toes into my mouth, bite and spit out the toenails, and proceed to chew the rubbery cartilage as if it were a caramel. 
I turn to Leader Gao and ask him what he will do for Chinese New Year. We launch into a discussion about Chinese versus American holidays. As I describe the roasted ham my mother makes for Christmas, he abruptly heads into the kitchen. I hear a roar of laughter. I know that sound. Leader Gao has a new challenge for me. <laughs> Leader Gao appears and asks me, Ni shen kan ni ge zhongguo de chuan tong? Would I like to see a Chinese New Year tradition? Kui, xie xie, okay, thank you, I respond. We all walk outside towards the barn as he continues on and on about festival traditions. We turn the corner. I see Mei Ping. She's in horror. Others from inside join and gather around us with half-empty bottles of Baijiu. Leader Gao proposes a toast. Qian Zhang loves Ai Xiao. I throw the shot back with my eyes closed tight. Leader Gao pours me another shot and I down it. I know. I'm about to get so messed with. So I figure if I can get really drunk in the next five minutes, they will have to abandon their plans and take me inside. So I take two more. After one dozen toasts, Leader Gao grabs my arm and a burning sensation hits my brain. He swings me around the side of the barn and there, Dee Dee's fat pink legs were roped and he lay on his side, thrashing wildly. It wasn't until that moment that I knew pigs could scream. Leader Gao takes a massive knife from a bucket and waves it above his head. He points the knife at me and taunts, Megren shi huan hanbao bao ma? Americans like hamburgers? Tamen shi huan juro ma? Do they like pork? Leader Gao approaches me with the handle of the knife. Xie xie an xiao. The group freezes and falls silent. No one refuses the leader of Chen Zhang's Communist Party. Everyone looks at each other. Then they look at me. They look at each other. And then they look at me. An xiao. He jeers, pointing the knife at Didi. Mei Ping hooks her fingers through one of my belt loops and begins to moan, Bu yao, bu yao. Her mom takes her from my side and I hear her saying to Mei Ping, Dee Dee is an old, fat, and happy pig. It's Dee Dee's turn. My heart pounds through my temples. I feel like an alien on planet China. I, I don't know why I have this need to prove to this group that I have the balls to kill a pig? I'm a fucking vegan! <laughs> I snap. I take the knife from Leader Gao. His smile drops. I ask, Zainar, where? Leader Gao is shaken. He traces his finger along Didi's main artery just above his breastbone at the base of his neck. I stand over Didi. I look into his eyes, whisper, I'm sorry. Leader Gao picks up a hammer, sits on top of Didi, positions the bucket next to him, then slams the hammer down just above Didi's eyes to stun him. Didi howls and then goes limp. Mei Ping screams as I plunge the knife in. I brace myself in a squat as I slide the knife all the way across his neck. Blood erupts straight up into my face and down the front of my body. I lean in and press the knife down harder. Leader Gao pulls back on my shoulders, takes the knife from my hand, and I turn away as he finishes the job. No one says a word. I must look insane, blood <laughs> streaming down my face. Mei Ping's grandmother brings me a bucket with warm water to scrub Dee Dee off my face and hands. I'm shaking. I think I should cry, but I can't. Killing an animal feels horrible. But we did eat every single part of that pig. Blood, intestine, ears, heart, liver, skin, tongue, brains... On planet China, not one part of Didi went unused. So Mei Ping hates me because I just murdered her pet. 
Leader Gao exalts me because he knows he just almost lost his pet. And I know I have all the guanxi. He owes me. At the dinner table, drunk with power, I turn to Leader Gao and tell him, I want us to create a citywide Earth Day event to clean all the local hiking trails and install brand new trash cans. He smiles and pours the baijiu and says, Koi, okay. <laughs>